guys what is going on and welcome to our reaction channel where we react to anything and everything guys if you're new i just want to say welcome to st phil's reaction all right hope you guys love all the reactions that i have going on with the channel all right there's something new going up um daily if not daily then weekly all right if you have something for me to watch just leave it on the comments and the videos leave the link leave anything if you're a newcomer welcome thank you guys so much and welcome hope you have fun Halloween. It is Halloween week where I have a lot of scary videos going up just for the rest of this week. All right. So I hope you guys are ready for it. Hope you guys are ready. I'm ready. Now, um, a little short little thing about me and scary stuff. We are kind of like in a love and hate relationship. All right. Because I love scary stuff and then I hate them at the same time. So it's like, mm, all right. But I'm doing this for you guys. You know, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to be real. Keep it tough. For all these videos that i'm doing out this week and if you guys like it don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys okay a lot of this going up on the channel and if you're new check out my playlist because i have a lot of playlists i reacted to i'd say a thousand videos by now maybe more i'm not too sure um but you know always recommend stuff to me and i always react to them all right so if you're new videos are always gonna go right here always put the brightness up nice chocolate Ooh, too dark Nice chocolate skin. Smile for you guys. All right. Okay. Good. Got my water. <sighs> Mix this a little bit. Right there. Okay, let's go. The Lighthouse Keeper. Nightmare Tales. Yeah, go check out Nightmare Tales. Okay. Shh. In the northeast sea of Nova Scotia, oh. the vital shipping lane between two important coastal trade hubs is infamous for its unpredictable tides, inclement weather, mm -hmm. and hundreds of lives it has claimed over the past century. Yeah, damn. This major landmark, ensuring the safe passage of vessels through the treacherous strait, is a small stone lighthouse that sits on an island of razor sharp rocks. Rocks which at low tide extend out for several miles just under the surface. Wow, spooky. An old master mariner from the mainland loads his vessel with three months of supplies with Samuel, the new lighthouse keeper who will be going to the island. No. Nope. What happened to the last lighthouse? <laughs> no, <laughs> excuse me, I'm the what now? The what? Keeper inquired Samuel. He quit, replied the mariner. Not many stay long. They can't handle it. They can't handle being alone? Samuel was confused. Hmm, <clears throat> grunted the mariner. Hmm. That won't be an issue for me. I'm really looking forward to the isolation. They set off as the evening set in and the lighthouse lit up. Its brilliant beam cutting through the night air like a freshly sharpened Is and that polished the house blade. All the way in the back? I thought there was no caretaker there at the moment, queried Samuel. There isn't. The light is on an automatic timer, the mariner explained. And how is it powered? He inquired further. There's a powerhouse on the furthermost point of the island. Only go to it when the light goes out. Why not at any other time? Too many questions. Quiet now. I need... <laughs> too many questions. You're asking too many questions, all right? Your life might be at stake, but you're asking too many questions. Excuse me? Sir, why can't I go to the lighthouse? I'm gonna be there for what now? Did, did he say a couple months or did he say three months? If I'm there for three months and you telling me only go there when the lighthouse, man. Need to focus, said the mariner. Hell no. The mariner wow. set the man ashore with the supplies at a small jetty and began to cast off. Samuel shouted out, Wait, aren't you coming ashore? No. I never set foot on the island. But why? He shouted. Does that does that not ring any red flags? No red flags at all? Fuck that shit. <laughs> but it was too late. 
the mariner had already sailed out of earshot. Samuel entered the lighthouse, stored his supplies, and then climbed the hundred steps to the top. It was a fantastic display of turn-of-the-century engineering. Huge industrial bulbs burned with incredible intensity behind massive Fresnel lenses, oh, resulting nice. in an amazing beam of light that pierced the sky around it for miles. After further familiarizing himself with the lighthouse, its operation, and the maintenance manuals, Samuel decided to call it a night. He was exhausted, but excited about this new chapter in his life. Mm -hmm, away from mm -hmm. the stress and pressures of the city and to finally be alone when no one could bother him. Wow. During the night, wow. he was suddenly awoken by the sounds of deep moaning wow. and frightening howling getting louder. Wow. The sound was too deep to be the wind. So he got up and peered cautiously out his window. To his surprise, Dozens of ghosts, men, women, and children were all hovering around the powerhouse at the far point of the island. Samuel rubbed his eyes and stared out in disbelief. They were all still there, and all still making an incredibly disturbing cacophony. Oh, Unable to pull himself people. away from the window, he stared at them throughout the night, terrified they would come closer. However, they didn't, hmm. and as the sun rose, they faded away into the daylight. Hmm. This continued for several weeks. The sun would set and the ghosts would hover. Samuel had lost an incredible amount of sleep over this, but he had since realized that they never ventured further than the surrounds of the powerhouse. This didn't reassure him in any way. He was always on edge. Wow. What tipped him over, though, was the evening when far off into the distance a huge cruise ship had entered the treacherous strait. It was by far the biggest ship he had ever seen. Suddenly, as he watched it crawl through the water like a massive streamlined beast, the vital bright light behind him died, and he watched on in terror as it turned, trying to navigate the narrow passage, having made a course for the lighthouse, guaranteed to tear its hull to shreds on the jagged rocks below. Oh shit. The terror of what was about to occur raced through his mind. Hundreds of people were about to die. He had to restore the power, which meant entering the powerhouse. The powerhouse that was surrounded by dozens of tortured spirits. The psychological battle that ensued next within his exhausted mind nearly broke him. He was terrified of heading to the far end of the island and had to muster every courageous element of his being to convince himself that they were only ghosts, mm. mere apparitions, and unable to harm him mm. in any way. He exited the lighthouse and made his way towards the powerhouse, his flashlight in one hand and large toolbox in the other. He walked through the swarming cluster of spirits, and although loud and unsettling, they left him unharmed and able to access the powerhouse. However, as he opened the door, they pushed him in, and once inside, it lit up like an oil-fired furnace. In fact, as if it was the fires of hell. The lighthouse came back to life, and the cruise ship immediately altered its course to safety. And then, one of the spirits ascended and slowly dissolved into the night, only to be replaced by Samuel. Wow! From the shore, the old master mariner, who had been watching the lighthouse, sighed as he watched it come back on. Hmm. He then made a call to the local newspaper, once again placing an advertisement for yet another lighthouse keeper. Wow! Holy shit! So all of those people that surrounded the saw so all okay. Wow! But hmm. Damn, y'all, that's crazy, ah, man. Wow! Wow! This was actually very good. That was very good. 
that was you know nightmare tales that was very good it wasn't scary but it was a good tale wow guys thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe i will never be a lighthouse keeper never in my life all right i don't care how much they pay me fuck no and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you the next one peace guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed that reaction video um uh, guys make sure you check the description and also make sure you check the playlist on the channel because it has a lot of videos that i reacted to all right be safe out there and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed hit that like button and i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace